What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Aaliyah Mead. If you are new to my channel, I'm a rising first year medical student interested in dropping some keys to success along my journey to help you guys secure your white coat. In today's video, we are going to discuss some tips that will help you guys navigate the virtual interview season that many medical schools are going to be participating in for the duration of this medical school application cycle. In my previous video, I mentioned some tips that will help you whether your interview is in person, and or virtual, but I did wanna make a sequel video that will contain some more specific advice about how to successfully master your virtual interview experience. So without further ado, if you're new here, this is what we do before we get started. Go ahead, get you a pen, get you some paper, and let's get to it. So there are going to be two types of virtual interviews that you will most likely be required to participate in for your medical school interview season. The first type is going to be a live interview, meaning you are going to get on some sort of program with those people who are interviewing you and you will be speaking to them in real time. Now that is an experience in and of itself because it's, it's just like you being in front of them, but you guys are split up between a computer screen and cyberspace. So you're still going to have that in-person and live interaction if you're doing a live interview. The second or the alternative way that you may virtually be interviewed by a medical school will be the on-demand interview. A lot of jobs use this type of interview where you will be sent a link or you will be directed to some sort of program that will pre-record your interview. It will provide you with the questions that you have to answer for the interview and then you will record your responses. It's still very similar to you being in front of a person but that person is just not watching you as of yet. They may watch your interview an hour later or they may watch your interview a week later. But those are going to be the two main types of interviews that you will experience during this virtual interview season if you are invited for an interview. Now that we understand the two types of interviews, we now know that the purpose of the interview has not changed even though it's virtual, its format has changed. Now we need to talk about those tips. So the first thing you want to do when preparing for your interview is understanding all that there is to know about your virtual interview experience before it begins. So that means you're going to have to establish strong communication with the admissions officers at your prospective medical school to find out the following information. Number one, you want to get an idea of what type of interview you're going to be engaging in. So it will either be a live interview or it will be an on-demand interview. So you want to find out what type of interview they are going to be asking you to participate in. Then you also want to find out how long it's going to be. What's the duration of my interview day now that it is virtual? Keep in mind some of these schools had lengthy interview days because they included a campus tour. They may have included a dinner or a lunch. They may have even cut out some time for you to walk around with current medical students and get to know them. Panels, all sorts of things were built into interview days when they were all in person. So now with that being said, those are the things you want to figure out. Like how have they adapted the length of the interview day to best fit their virtual interview day? You need to know how long you need to be in front of a camera for. Number three, the third thing you're going to want to ask is the number of interviews or a number of sessions of interviewing that you'll have to participate in. Because it's going to be virtual, doesn't mean that you're going to just have one encounter with one person and that's done. Even in a traditional interview sense, you still Still will have multiple interviews perhaps with two or three different admissions officers so you also want to get that information and that will kind of tie into how long the day is going to be last but not least you also want to know what type of interface this medical school is going to be using to conduct their interview will they be doing their interview through zoom will they be doing their interviews through google hangout facetime those are things that you need to understand before you get to your interview day and you're completely lost sitting at your desk and not necessarily knowing what you need to log on to to even get to your interview. Let's get to tip number two. All right, tip number two is securing a location that you know for sure will be available on your scheduled date for your interview. The environment needs to have a couple of things in order to ensure that it's a successful environment for you to conduct your interview in. Number one, it needs to be quiet so that you can focus on whatever you are doing on your interview day. Being in person, the admissions committee can kind of control their own environment. But for you as a virtual interviewee, now you are gonna be responsible 
people for controlling your environment in order to facilitate a successful interview. Number two, it needs to be as clean as you can make it. A lot of us are comfortable in our own way, but understand that there are certain types of settings that just look appropriate. So with that being said, if you are going to be in your room, try to get as simple of a background as possible. Try to find some sort of location where you will have a relatively blank background, preferably either a white wall and or a darker colored neutral wall that you can sit in front of and conduct your interview. Try to limit the amount of artwork in the background. You see, I have this sign back here that says Dr. Mead loading. That probably isn't something that you wanna show. It's up to your discretion, but I recommend just taking all posters, artwork out of the shot of you so that the interviewer can focus on you and their conversation. Number three, you want to make sure that the location is as secure and comfortable for you as possible. You're gonna have some pretty expensive technology around you, most likely your phone, your laptop, a desktop computer, some earphones, you're gonna have tech and you're also gonna have yourself, right? So that's important to ensure that you are in a location where everything, including yourself, is going to be safe for a long period of time, depending on how long your interview is. You don't wanna be in an open location that you're uncomfortable in because during your interview, you're gonna be looking around, trying to figure out if people are watching you, is somebody coming up behind you? You don't wanna do that because it's gonna throw you off, it's gonna sideline your focus from the interview itself. So try your hardest to find some sort of location that you are most comfortable and most safe in. The next tip that I have for you guys is to ensure that your devices and your internet connection is as stable as possible for your day. And I guess this kind of ties back into our discussion about your environment that you're going to be sitting in when you are conducting your medical school interview. But you need to ensure that you have a great connection that will not fail you during your interview experience. If you do not have internet connection at home, if you do not have Wi-Fi, start planning in advance to contact either a close friend or a family member or even if if you can find a very secure and quiet and clean location publicly that you will be allowed to sit in during this unusual time, then that's also something that you want to keep in mind before your interview day. On that same note, please make sure that your devices are also stable enough for you to be able to conduct your interview. Do you want to make sure that your devices, whether they are a phone or a tablet or a laptop, please make sure that you not only have them fully charged, but that you have a charger or that you're located near a charger port and or that you have an extra battery for them in the event that you are sitting longer than expected and your battery decides that it wants to check out of the interview for you. In addition to making sure that you have everything charged, you also wanna make sure that your video camera and the microphone located in the device is clear and it's functioning at its highest quality. Let's talk about this interview outfit that you're going to wear. As you guys can see, I have on a red t-shirt and you really can't even see much, right? So you're really gonna have to just focus on dressing up the top half of your body. Now I say that very, very cautiously because what you don't want to do is come into your medical school interview and let's say for instance, your device is not propped up correctly and it falls and you're wearing underwear. That can't happen. So I would highly recommend actually dressing fully for your interview and maybe just minus the shoes and the socks. If you are responsible and you can dress from your top half up, then that is also fine. Keep it as professional as possible, like I mentioned in my original video for your interview. The next tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you're still remaining conversational, that you're remaining comfortable, and that you are not forgetting to make eye contact with the camera. Now, if you saw my previous video, and if you haven't already, I highly recommend you going back and looking at that video because I kind of explain more in detail what I mean by remaining com comfortable and conversational. But we'll kind of go into it briefly right here. So when you are on your interview, it's always important to remember that the person interviewing you really just wants to talk to you. And it's important that you can display that no matter the situation, you can hold a decent conversation. Also keep in mind, even though this is virtual, body language is going to count. Now, when it's time to talk, you wanna keep in mind that you are keeping your eyes on the camera as much as possible. Locate the camera on your device and try your hardest to make eye contact with it. In this instance, it's very easy for your eyes to look at the screen that's projecting the person that you're talking to. But that's not what you wanna do because if you look at the screen, 
you're not looking at them on their end. For example, I'm gonna look at myself on my device and you will see how my eyes shift from looking at you to looking at someplace else. So here's my eyes looking at you. Here's my eyes looking at myself. Or if I were to have a video of you, I would be looking at you right now thinking I'm talking straight to you and realistically, you're like, you're talking past me, okay? So keep your eyes locked into that camera or at least if you do take a break from looking at the camera, you kinda swivel off from it a little bit and bring your eyes right back, okay? Good. All right, the last tip that I have for you guys for your virtual interview experience is to follow up after your medical school interview by sending a thank you note of some sort or kind to the people who interviewed you and or the admissions office in general. I did this, tons of pre-medical students do this every year. You wanna reach out and say thank you for your time, thank you for your consideration. I thoroughly enjoyed my interview, really look forward to being a potential matriculant at your university. These are the types of things that are gonna set you apart from all the interviewees that an admissions committee is going to interact with. And an email will suffice for this as well. So getting a thank you note template typed up already that will allow for you to number one, reintroduce yourself. Number two, thank the interviewer for their time and their consideration to also include maybe a personal detail about the interview conversation that you guys had. And then again, to close it out by saying that you're grateful and you are looking forward to potentially matriculating into their university. It will keep your name fresh in the interviewer's mind. And I promise you, it is not looked down upon. It is actually a very nice gesture. It will go a long way in securing your seat to your medical school. All right, everyone, thank you so much for sticking around to hear all the tips that I had prepared for you guys for your virtual medical school interview experience. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe to join my community and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video like this one. Also, if you have any additional tips that you think could be beneficial to another pre-medical student doing virtual interviews, feel free to drop them in the comments below so that we are all working together to secure our white coats this interview season. As you guys see I'm in a new environment you can kind of hear the train in the background this is my new apartment medical school starts in a couple of days and I'm looking forward to sharing not only my workspace and my apartment space but also a more in-depth look about what my first week of medical school is going to be like so if that's something that you're interested in also leave that down in the comments below tell me you are interested you are ready I want to make sure that I show you guys my journey as well so I know for sure that during this interview season you are going to wow away any admissions committee even if it's through a computer screen and I will see you next week once medical school begins. Bye-bye.